Good morning and a warm welcome to your show, Sunny Mornings in San Diego. I'm your host, Melissa, and it's Friday, May 24th. Coming up on today's show, we'll get into the surf report and the weather outlook. Then we'll jump into some local news and a few interesting happenings in business, science, and entertainment. But first, you'll be interested to know 141 years ago, today, in 1883, the Brooklyn Bridge opened. A brilliant feat of 19th century engineering, it spans the East River, connecting Brooklyn to Manhattan. The bridge was designed by civil engineer John Augustus Roebling. So now you know. And now you know what time it is. It's time for the surf report. Expect smaller surf on Friday, with most spots waist high and below. Top spots in South County, San Diego should still have a few lingering shoulder high sets. Northwest windswell continues around waist high at the best breaks. South wind will continue in South County, San Diego. Wind swell bumps up some on Saturday, with exposed breaks around waist high and South County standouts into the chest high range. Expect onshore southwest to west wind Saturday morning with south-southwest flow building in the afternoon. Friday at Tourmaline and South San Diego. It's looking pretty ugly out there at two to three feet with some fair conditions for dawn patrol only. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but this weekend isn't looking great either. At least the water is warming up. Best time to ride is at 6 a.m with a zero foot incoming tide, when the south swell is two feet at 14 seconds, and the onshore wind is five mile per hour. The first high tide Friday will be three feet just before 11.30, with a two foot low tide at 3.30. The near shore buoy at Scripps in La Jolla reads 65 degrees for the water temperature. Checking out the weather in the San Diego area, this morning, it's cloudy and feels like 60 degrees with five mile per hour wind. The sunset will take place at 747 and it will rise again tomorrow at 543. It looks like we're in for a cloudy morning, then gradually becoming mostly sunny with a high near 66 and wind of five to 10 mile per hour. Tonight, cloudy with patchy drizzle after 11 p.m. and a low around 58. Looking ahead in the weather. This weekend will be cloudy with a chance of drizzle Saturday morning and a high near 66 degrees. Sunday will gradually become mostly sunny with a high near 66. Memorial Day will be cloudy in the morning, then gradually clear with a high near 69. Next week will be mostly cloudy with highs in the upper 60s to near 70. Tuesday and Wednesday will gradually become sunny. Bonjour, food enthusiasts. This podcast is brought to you by Versailles Cafe and Pastries in Encinitas. Nestled on El Camino Real South, just north of Encinitas Boulevard, this cafe is a haven for culinary delights. Indulge in their amazing Eggs Benedict or their gluten-free crepes. You can grab a panini for lunch or just breeze on through to get your morning coffee. They are open every day from eight to five. So stop on by and don't forget to tell them, Sunny Morning sent you. In local news, Fashion Valley Mall is transforming a JCPenney store into 850 luxury apartments, 100,000 square feet of shops and eateries, and an open air plaza. Simon Property Group, the mall's owner will start construction in early 2026. The project includes five-story buildings with high-end amenities and aims to blend seamlessly with the mall's current layout. This development aligns with a trend of integrating residential units into shopping centers to meet market demands for more housing. Now on to sports. Jalen Brown scored 40 points to lead the Celtics to a 126-110 victory over the Indiana Pacers 
in Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals, giving them a two-game series lead. Brown's performance, along with key contributions from Jason Tatum and Derek White, secured the win. The Celtics, still without Kristaps Porzingis, could potentially sweep the series. For the Pacers, star guard Tyrese Halliburton exited with a hamstring injury, leaving Pascal Siakam to lead with 28 points. Game three is scheduled for Saturday at 8.30 Eastern. Last night in local sports, the Padres on the road beat the Reds 6-4. to four. And tonight, the Padres are at home to take on the Yankees in game one or a three-game series. In top news, when it comes to exceptional air travel, some airlines truly stand out. Delta Airlines tops the list for overall excellence, known for stellar customer service and reduced passenger complaints. American Airlines Flagship First offers the best domestic business class experience with exclusive perks. For international business class, Qatar Airways suit delivers unmatched luxury. United Airlines leads in diversity and sustainability, showcasing commitment to equity and environmental goals. Turkish Airlines impresses with lavish amenity kits and top-tier in-flight food, while Southwest Airlines provides reliable budget travel. Delta also excels in main cabin comfort with its modern fleet. In business news, the SEC has approved the first U.S. exchange-traded funds for Ether, allowing mainstream investors to trade this cryptocurrency like stocks or mutual funds. This surprising move enables the trading of spot Ether ETS, boosting accessibility for investors. Major asset managers like BlackRock and Fidelity are set to launch these funds, pending further approvals. The decision marks a shift from SEC Chair Gary Gensler's previous stance on crypto regulation and suggests the potential openness to other cryptocurrency-backed funds despite some opposition citing Ether's volatility and susceptibility to fraud. In crypto movement, Bitcoin is just under 68,000. Ethereum is 3,800. And Solana is $171. Moving on to a more local vibe. In our community spotlight on health and wellness, we are working with a national Pilates studio to bring you some free classes, so listen up. Check out Club Pilates with several locations in the San Diego area. Pilates presents a comprehensive wellness approach, cultivating strength, reducing tension, and elevating mental well being. Scientific research affirms its benefits. So now you can check out Club Pilates for a free class with locations in Encinitas, Solana Beach. Oceanside, La Jolla, and more. Just be sure to tell them Sunny Morning sent you by. And now, back to the show. Let's talk tech. Spotify's decision to brick its car thing devices on December 9 has left owners frustrated, as the company offers no refunds or trade-in options. CarThing, initially launched in 2021, was designed to enhance in-car Spotify use, but required a Spotify premium subscription and a connected phone, making it seem redundant. Despite halting production in 2022, Spotify continued to sell the device. Users are now pleading for the company to open source the device to avoid e-waste, but Spotify has not responded to these requests, citing their initial goal of understanding in-car listening habits. Entertainment news. Scarlett Johansson's dispute with OpenAI highlights Hollywood's concerns over AI's impact on intellectual property. After declining to voice an AI assistant, Johansson was shocked to hear a voice eerily similar to hers in OpenAI's demo. This prompted legal action and demands for transparency. OpenAI denies mimicking Johansson's voice yet halted using the voice amidst the controversy. The incident underscores the need for clear regulations 
and consent regarding the use of artists' likenesses in AI. As Hollywood grapples with a rapid advancement of generative AI technologies. Well, alrighty, folks, it's time for the quote of the day. And today, our quote comes from the engineer who designed the Brooklyn Bridge, John Augustus Roebling. He said, It will no longer suit the spirit of the present age to pronounce an undertaking impracticable. Nothing is impracticable, which is within the scope of natural laws. And that's a wrap for this morning. You can check out our Instagram, YouTube, and TikTok for some captivating aerial videos with local news and the surf reports. Have an amazing weekend, my good friends. We'll see you Monday with another episode of Sunny Mornings in San Diego.